Hello guys, this is next topic that is hydrostatic step bearing. Now hydrostatic step bearing some attention and you have to note down some points also during the video so that you can understand this point. Hydrostatic step bearing. Seeing that hydrostatic step bearing is like this. This is the shaft. Okay, this is the shaft, and here the pressure is coming out oil oil is coming out from here okay this is the pi initial pressure and po is the outer pressure you can see at the nomenclature also dw is the thrust load ro is the outer radius of the shaft this is the outer radius ri is this radius okay this this much this much radius okay and pi is the supply of inlet pressure po is the outlet or atmospheric pressure you can say fluid thin thick, uh, thickness is what fluid film thickness is ho flow of the lubricant it is in mm cube per second it is q may use the viscosity of the lubricant now the lubricant is flowing radially outward through the annulus of radii that is ri and ro and leaves at the periphery of the shaft okay from here in this way this hydrostatic bearing works okay now consider an elemental ring of radius r and having thickness dr as you can show in figure a actually here a small radius r we are considering it we can see in the next slide also this elemental ring is given by this equation the flow which is used that is delta p bhq by 12 this is the annual ring okay this is equation a actually this equation a i was discussing so it's got mistaken this is small r that is the elemental ring this is the thickness dr and this is the radius small r r i is this inner radius of the recess and r o is the outer radius of the shaft and this is the pressure distribution here the pressure is continuously constant during this part and here the pressure drops like this now l in the direction of flow is dr b is 2 pi r and h is equal to h0 and delta p is equal to dp now putting this value in equation a so q will become minus pi r h o q divided by 6 mu dp by dr uh, uh, minus q i so negative sign is introduced in the equation because pressure decreases as the radius r increases jaise hi r badhta jayega definitely the pressure decrease hote jayega because the thickness will get increases sorry the radius is increasing that means area is increasing the pressure will be less so if you dear in this terms in terms of pressure dp ke terms mein agar manage kare to dr upon r that is r is of suffix is dp we have transfer it okay this q into dr here this r goes down hoq break down pi will be down 6 mu will be up so in this term now if we integrate this term so pressure p is equal to minus 6 mu cube by h cube log to the base e r plus c now we need to find out this condition c so we need to add a boundary condition here so boundary condition is p is equal to 0 and r is equal to r0 so therefore c is equal to 6 mu cube by h o cube log to the base e r o put this value of c here and we will get a new equation which is shown here this is equation number c this is the equation for pressure now now the second boundary condition is what when pressure p is equal to pi and small r is equal to ri at that point what will happen so substituting this equation what we get this we get okay in case of p we have put it pi and in place of r we have put ri so this ro upon ri is there so q will be what pi pi h o cube divided by 6 mu log to the base c ro upon ri so the flow equation is in this way so this is the final equation for to calculate the flow requirement of the bearing for hydrostatic step bearing okay now the distribution of pressure is shown in figure b as we have seen that in this way it was okay which is type metha so so the radius ri we have seen that for the thrust load w we will find out pi into pi ri square plus integration of ri to ro into p to pi r dr 
सो इफ यू पुट दिस वैल्यूज इन इक्वेशन सी सो हमें ये एक लंबा चौड़ा इक्वेशन मिल जाता है यहाँ पे इक्वेशन इज एफ इफ यू इंटीग्रेट दिस टर्म हमें इंटीग्रेशन सिर्फ इसी पार्ट को करना है आर बाय आर आई इन टू आर डी आर को सो वॉट वी गेट यू इज इक्वल टू लॉक टू दी आर बाय आर एंड डी वी इज इक्वल टू आर डी आर दिस इज आर द पार्ट सो इफ यू पुट दिस वैल्यू यू विल गेट दिस टर्म दिस इज हाउ वी सॉल्व इट ओके एंड दिस वी गेट दट वी इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेट इन आर डी आर आर स्क्र बाय so integration of u dv is equal to uv minus integration of v du substitute substituting this values of u and v log to the base r o by r r dr is equal to r square by 2 log to the base r o by small r plus r square by 4 so therefore this equation becomes in this way and by solving you will get the final equation that that is in this way that w is equal to pi pi by 2 ro square minus small r uh, capital r i square log to the base ro by r i so this is how you are going to find out the thrust load okay this is the equation can be used even if there is no recess in which case r i will be remain as the radius of the oil supply pipe okay i hope you understand this part just see two three times this video you will understand the derivation very easily thank you